I believe that the terrorist threat level that we're contending with right now uh, is at a whole nother level from an already heightened terrorist threat level that we were seeing even before October 7th. Uh, and I say that for a variety of reasons. Uh, first, you've seen a veritable rogues gallery of foreign terrorist organizations calling for terrorist attacks against us in a way that we haven't seen in a long, long time. All right, the FBI Director Day on Capitol Hill warning that ever since uh, the, uh, the Hamas war against Israel and then Israel's counter against Hamas, uh, Israel's become a target, we've become a target, and our borders have become a porous way to reach that target. Uh, don't say that my next guest didn't warn you about that. I'm talking about Oklahoma Senator James Lankford, who's kind enough to take the time. Senator, uh, the threat and the problem was real. You had a measure ready to go, a bipartisan deal that would have dealt with this and other issues uh, for whatever reason. And we could talk politics or we could just talk about uh, people looking elsewhere. It never happened. Would that have addressed some of the things the FBI director is addressing and fearing today? It is actually, and be clear, there are things President Biden could do right now, the same things that President Trump did, the same things, by the way, that President Obama did uh, to be able to close down the border. But even those two presidents said, we've got to make changes in the asylum laws, the way we're doing the screening and the staffing. That's what my bill was addressing, was that. It wasn't everything we needed, but it was significant, and it would make a dramatic change in what is an open border right now. If President Biden would stop all the um, paroling that he's doing in right now, but then we could also change the way we're actually handling asylum because we are having thousands of people a day, more than we can handle, coming asking for asylum. Current law allows them to just be released into the country. That has to stop so that we shut down all the trafficking of people from all over the world. And one of the things FBI was talking about yesterday was the number of people coming in from the Middle East, from Russia, from China, from all over the world. It's not just Western Hemisphere anymore. It's very real national security risks. You know, um, your House colleague, Mike McCall, uh, was worried about that. I, I, I caught up with him, and he thinks when it comes to any kind of border-related issues, uh, the door is closed on that. This is from Mike McCall yesterday. We did pass H.R. 2, by the way, Neil, which the Senate will, refuses to take up. Well, uh, it, but, you no, know, no been, Democrats supported that in the House, if I remember, And sir. that's very true, true. So that was the you know, problem, I was told, right? I was told by Schumer that all border-related stuff is dead now in the Senate, so I don't know. Uh, I, but I, all I know is this. I chaired Homeland for three terms. I was a federal prosecutor down at the border. The authorities are there. Uh, the president could take action today, but he refuses to do so. Sir, you're in the Senate, so you would know better than I. Is it dead in the Senate? What well, you worked very hard to get, and now Chuck yeah. Schumer seems to be seeing ain't happening. Yeah, well, Mike, Michael McCall brought up H.R. 2, which is a great bill, by the way. We've had two votes on that in the Senate, actually. We've not gotten a single Democrat on board right. uh, for either time where we did a vote on this. So it was the same way in the Schumer House. Saying same is, way in the House. It, right. Go ahead. It, it, same way in the House. They can get a single Democrat on board. So if we're going to make law on this issue, we've got to have Democrats and Republicans that are both on board. We, you can take one person to make a press conference, but you've got to have 60 to make a law in the United States Senate. That means you've got to sit down with both sides, come to some agreement. We're not going to get everything we're wanting, but we, we can't just do nothing. We have to do something. Now, Michael is absolutely correct. There are a lot of authorities that President Biden could use right now to dramatically slow the flow. But even when we had 4,000 people a day crossing under the Trump administration, they were asking for additional authorities that are missing in law. It's why it's so important we got to have it. And as my conversation with the FBI director yesterday, we have literally thousands of people crossing that are on what are called special interest aliens. Those special interest aliens are a known terror risk, but we just don't know anything about them. So everybody talks yeah. about those that are on the terror watch list. We know there are individuals on the terror watch list. We detain those. But from these special interest aliens coming from these areas, we know nothing about them. Most of those folks are released into the country. We don't know where they are at this point. This is why it's so important for a national security side. We need to do something to be able to dramatically stop this. Well said. Um, Senator, good seeing you again. Thank you so much.